Let's talk about a little bit of the transfer portal here, about the other school in Alabama, the Auburn Tigers. They landed a couple of transfers. The quarterback, Peyton Thorne, transferred into the or went to the transfer portal from Michigan State because his best receiver decided they didn't want to play with him. So he went to the transfer portal. Peyton Thorne then said, Well, my best receiver is leaving. I'm still at Michigan State. I don't have anybody to throw to, really. I'm entering the transfer portal. And so he goes in the transfer portal and claims that when he's healthy and he's playing the best he can be, he's a top athlete and a top quarterback. We'll see about that. But some numbers aren't bad. He did not have a good year last year. We will see. But Hugh Freeze, it's been talked about Auburn. They need a quarterback. Talked about Casey Thompson, the transfer from Nebraska, going into the transfer portal. I said, could he enter and go into Auburn? Because Auburn needs a established quarterback, maybe a little bit more veteran, so that way they could try to make some noise this year. Well, I was close. They did get a quarterback. Peyton Thorne has now transferred from Michigan State to Auburn. And it's going to come into an offense with Hugh Freeze, who knows some offense. He's coming into Auburn. So now Hugh Freeze does have a quarterback to add to his room. Not guaranteed that he's going to be the starter, but it brings some experience, some Big Ten playing experience coming into Hugh Freeze's first year. Then after they get Peyton Thorne, they add a weapon for him. They get Caleb Burton the third, the wide receiver transfer from Ohio State that left Ohio State to the transfer portal is also going to Auburn. So Auburn and Hugh Freeze's offense just landed two key pieces for his offense in his first year at Auburn. So that helps Hugh Freeze feel a little more comfortable as he's entering this year one. What does it mean to get a Peyton Thorne and a Caleb Burton. Well, with Caleb Burton, you're getting a playmaker. You're getting a guy that's been around speed. And with Hugh Freeze's offense, that's going to be up-tempo, multiple. And you need a guy with jet motions, bubble screens to throw it deep. This is a guy that is going to fit right well into your system. This is a guy that you can move anywhere on the field, punt returner, wide receiver, slot receiver. I think he could be just an overall player for Auburn. What does it mean to have Peyton Thorne come in? Well, some experience. Um, In 2021, which was considered his best year, 3,240 passing yards. He averaged 8.3 yards per completion. He had 27 touchdowns to 10 interceptions. His longest pass was 85 yards. He was 235 of 389 passes. Not a bad year. Last year, he battled some injuries. He had 19 touchdowns to 11 interceptions, 2,679 passing yards, 62.5 62.5 completion percentage, um, was 242 for 387 passes. So his completion percentage was better than 2021, but his yards went down, his touchdowns went down, um, and his interception went up by one. Uh, I don't think he's going to be this world beater of a quarterback. I kind of want to compare this to, we could see a match make here, comparable to a Jimmy G when he was at Eastern Illinois University. Now bear with me here. Hugh Freeze wants to run an up-tempo offense. He wants to go fast. He wants to have multiple things going on. Awesome. Now, he could adapt to a couple different things. When Coach Dino Babers got to Eastern Illinois, he was coming from Baylor as a wide receivers coach, running that Baylor offense, running choice routes, going very up-tempo, snapped the ball 10 to 12 seconds. He came to Eastern Illinois, who, under the legendary coach Bob Spoo, who was running more of a pro style. They would get in shotgun at times, but you saw high formation, double tight, huge big linemen. They wanted to run the ball, run the ball, run the ball. Jimmy G's freshman, sophomore year, they did not perform very well. You know, Babers gets there, turns it around. Now, Jimmy G is not this huge time runner. He can move. Don't get me wrong. There were some runs he had, but he had to adapt away from an RG3 type of quarterback to a Jimmy G type who could do some zone read things, could move in the pocket, but had to get the ball out of his hands quick, manage the game, do short intermediate passes, which then would open up the big playmaker passes, would get a team off balance, any type of short intermediate pass, the receivers would make a play. That's what you're going to get with a Peyton Thorne, in my opinion, with Hugh Freeze. Hugh Freeze is not going to sit there and say, well, I'm going to run Peyton Thorne during this type of offense. It's going to be a very similar situation with... I'm going to come in and do the type of offense I want to do, 
but we're going to adapt it to this quarterback I have where if I can get him confident throwing the football and we can get short intermediate passes, we have a Caleb Burton to, to be a decoy at times and sometimes be the guy, this could help on offense. Not saying Auburn's going to come in and win the SEC and do all these things, but coming into year one and trying to establish this, have a guy that's played a little bit there at Michigan State, played against Ohio State, played against some big-time opponents, um, has done very well. In his last games, if you want to go look at his last games, um, versus Rutgers on November 12th, he had 256 passing yards. Versus Indiana, had 298 passing yards. Versus Penn State, had 229 yards. Now, Michigan State did not have a good year. A lot of transfers have left Michigan State, which is not a good sign because they're not getting them replaced quick enough like a Colorado is. Um, But he ended the year throwing the ball for a lot of yards. Um. Two touchdowns versus Rutgers, two touchdowns versus Indiana, one touchdown versus Penn State. Um, they struggled getting the run game. They struggled with everything else. If Auburn gets the run game going with this up tempo offense, it's no hell thing that Michigan that Auburn wants to do with Hugh Freeze, and he takes that Dino Babers Jimmy G approach. I think that they could do better, and it pains me to say that about Auburn sometimes because of what I've said about Auburn in the past. But I think that's the type of thing you're going to see if Peyton Thorne wins the starting job there. This does not mean he's going to start. Now, why would he go to Auburn if he wasn't going to start? You know, we don't know. But something was said to him. Same thing with Tyler Buckner. Um, going to Alabama, why would he go there to be a backup when he was going to be a backup at Notre Dame? Um, or does he have a better chance of finding a starting spot at Alabama and competing? Same thing with Peyton Thorne. So if this happens and he takes that – Dino Babers, Jimmy G approach. Maybe he could have a pretty good, successful season there. Um, we will see. And he is from the same suburb that I live in. So, you know, that's a pretty cool thing. But Auburn just got a little bit better with Caleb Burton the third and Peyton Thorne, even though he's not the world beater quarterback like in college football that we're seeing. But they did just get a little bit better down there, down the street from Alabama, down at Auburn. 